Hey YouTube, it's iPod Touch for Life 165 here, and uh, today I wanted to show you um, a video on um, what my feedback is and my experiences with the new 3.0 firmware and jailbreak. Um, so let's get right into it. Um, sorry, uh, I wanted to show you that I have edited my system string su successfully, um, and the way I did it was not with customize because. Customize has not yet been ported to 3.0 because I've tried it and it depends on that. It stated it very clearly and um, I don't expect it to be ported anytime soon because uh, you know how long it took to actually port it from the 1.x's to the 2.x's and for it to actually start functioning properly. So don't look for that anytime soon. Um, but I did not use iUtilities either because I don't find it that um, reliable or easy. Well, it's, yeah, it's very easy, but it just doesn't work very well. I actually used the um, method I showed you on SSH, um, and that link will be in the video description. Um, so go to the video description, and there'll be a link on how to edit system strings with um, your SSH. And it's very easy. You get all the strings. It's probably the best method. Um, probably not the easiest method. Probably it's like the hardest method, but um, it's still not that difficult. Um, and I've edited both that... Um, that I just showed you now, the um, unlocking, and I've also showed you the power right now. Um, the next thing I want to show you is I want to um, tell you a couple apps that have not been ported yet or do not work. Um, Customize is one of them that I told you before. Um, Mobile Finder is one that does not work because it just crashes. The Wallpaper does not work yet because um, it keeps crashing as well, but you can get video wallpaper without it as you can see right here and I may do a video on that it's very easy um, and there's um, font swap it's not really working if you install the font it's just it respring's and nothing happens um, you can edit fonts with winterboard but it is pretty tough so I'm probably not going to do that because I probably don't even know how to do it but um, I've got my theme on it as you can see um, my custom made theme um, I've edited it a little bit um, but as you can see, it's my theme. Edited it, made it a little nicer. I like my new lock background better. It's um the bridge in Boston. Um, so yeah, guys, that works. And um, I wanted to give you a quick tip in Cydia, which has been updated today. I was actually just opening up Cydia today, and there was an essential upgrade, and I'm like, what is it? And it's actually Cydia. Cydia has been upgraded to the latest firmware, um, I mean to the latest version now, um, so I think this one's a little bit more stable, it probably installs better, and um, it's not that bad, um, so I'm just going to wait for it to load up, I actually um, added the all sources, the all sources works as well, so that link will also be in the video description, how to get all sources, and that works on 3.0 on the Cydia, um, so it just may take a second. And I wanted to show you a quick tip also um, in these things. So like I told you, um, I'm going to uninstall vWallpaper because it is not working. Or actually, yeah, I'll, I'll uninstall vWallpaper, that's fine. Um, I'm just going to wait for it to re, um, do all this stuff. Because if I don't wait for it to do that, it will um, crash, I believe. But we'll try it anyways. We'll go. I'm just going to go into um, Manage. I'm going to... Manage. I'm gonna go into packages. Um, one thing that this city does not have is the scrolling letters. Like if you click on a letter, it brings you to that. It does not have that. As you can see, I've not installed that many packages compared to what you really wanna. And um, this is V wallpaper. And I'm gonna uninstall it. I'm gonna click modify. And I'm gonna click remove. And that will remove it from my device. Um, when it's done uninstalling, I want to show you a nice little tip that I've done with, that I've uh, kind of like uh, found out. It actually may take, or actually didn't take very long at all, um, because I had a mega pack installed, so. Oh, it didn't see, it said um, var slash mobile slash media slash screw slash videos. Um, that folder was not empty, so it wasn't removed. So even though I um, uninstalled vWallpaper, it still kept all my video wallpapers that I downloaded or gotten from that mega pack from the XLI source. And the XLI source does work for um, Cydia, so that will also be in the link. And I mean, also be in the video description. 
I'm not gonna put I'm not gonna put everything that works on 3.0 in the video description. But what I will do is in the video description, I'm going to um put the apps that I've experienced that I've encountered that do not work with me for me for the 3.0 firmware. Um, so V wallpaper will be, will be in there. Um, mobile Finder will be in there, and uh, Font Swap will be in there. Um, recently, Mobile Terminal was um, updated, so now it's uninstalled. But hey, what if they update it and it starts working? So this is a nice little feature. On every package, it'll say Change Package Settings. We just click Change Package Settings, and if we click on, it will um, activate this to see upgrades to see this. Uh, activate this to see upgrades to this package even when it's not installed. So even though since V wallpaper is not installed and we don't want it occupying space on our um, device, um, we still want to know when it starts working. And most probably the next update of V wallpaper will be the working version. So um, if you do show all changes. Um, just for this package, it'll show us when the latest upgrade is, even when they're not installed. So when we open up City and changes, it'll show it for V wallpaper. I can't really show that to you right now because um, the newest version has not yet been updated, but um, that is cool. And you can do that for I'm I'm gonna do that for Mobile Finder as well, and I'm gonna do that for um, Font Swap as well. But I'm not gonna do that right now. Um, Winterboard is working fine for me. You can download themes and everything. Um, it's not really anything else, really. Um, the new copy and paste is probably a little bit better than Clippy. Uh, what else, really? Um, nothing really else. I really like how I could edit system strings. And the boot logo video will not work on this yet because logo me has not yet been ported to 3.0. Um, and I actually wanted to give you a quick update, even if you're still on the 2.x's firmware. Because I did um, put a li I did um, make a video on how to downgrade back to 2.2.1, so that will also be in the video description. Um, I um, made a video on how to downgrade, but if you're on 2.2.1, um, the iPod Touch 2G, if you want to um, change your boot logo, you must have been jailbroken with um, Red Snow. Um, point three or point four, I forget. I will have that in the video description. I'm not completely sure. I think it's point four, but don't take my word for it right now. Um, so yeah, guys, I've gotten my full theme. A lot, all the mods from like modmyeye.com, those theming stuff, st stuff that'll all work. Um, SSH obviously works. Um, VNC has been ported. Sidequarter has been ported. Um, just to give you an update, so um, the things that'll work. And by the way, the new video, the, uh, my new videos, um, if it says works on 3.0, that means it'll work on 3.0, but it'll also work on the 3.x's. If I put like 3.x only, then obviously it's not going to work on those 2.x's. And I completely disregard the 1.x's because you really can't do anything on that. Um, another quick update is that installer is going to be shut down in mid-July. Um, they're gonna, they're gonna, um, you can still have it on your device, but they're gonna close all sources down in, like, the middle of July, so the middle of next month. So, download anything you want from installer right now, because it's gonna be gone soon. However, IC will remain, um, because IC is good. IC does work on 3.0, as you can see, I have it right there. Um, alright guys, and I do have all my cracked applications with that app sync, and that will also be in the video description, how to, um get your cracked apps on 3.0. Alright guys, subscribe, rate, comment, and I'll see you guys later.